So we had a lot of awesome model kits in the Origin line. During that we got two pretty amazing gems, um, like the Gem Guard Custom. Love this thing. Uh, ignore the fact that the hand cover is in here. I took off its accessory and the uh, hand cover fell into the abyss, as they do. Uh, but I love this thing. I love the colors. It has a little bit of extra armor. It has a few stickers, mostly the yellow here you see for like, like this little uh, blue on the knee. But it's simple, but it has some nice detail too. I really should have panel lined this. Don't know why I didn't. But yeah, I like the head. This cool head with the uh, visor, which can totally go down. And that's really nice. I like when they can do that. Especially for a high grade. Like, master grades are a given, but sometimes the high grades is a thing where you have to, like, pull out the peas and maybe swap it with another one or just push it and put it slightly farther down. No, it's completely hinged with a nice clear green visor. Does look good. You got these little pieces on the arms, which are uh, beam daggers. And I don't know why I didn't do it, but you can totally use them while they're still connected to the arm like stored in here because this is just the uh, hilt not the handle the handle is a separate piece which is slightly irritating because that means you have to have a little piece off to the side and I obviously didn't keep it on so which I had to cut the beams on there because that would actually still be cool just to attach to the arms if, even though they wouldn't be held because what I usually have on the kit is the well the gem spray gun it's kind of basic it does have a peg which I uh, I mean, it doesn't really hold that well. You can put it onto the back, but it's not that bad, that good. Um, I found, strangely enough, the backpack is better. It looks weird, but it's more secure. Of course, it's got the uh, trigger finger hand here, which thankfully, it does have like a groove in the hand for the uh, peg and the little handle, so it's it's pretty nice. I remember back in the day where you had. Beam, uh, beam rifles in the hands and they just like flailed around willy-nilly and you you had no control over it. They'd just be like on the floor eventually. And of course its biggest feature is the guard shield. If you play Battle Operation 2 this thing is quite the pain to fight but quite nice to use because it's got these like little Gatling guns in the shields. So you can just have them like sit there in front of them because it's, it's big. I mean look it's like the size of the mobile suit. Let's have it right in front and just like blast away. It's got two handles. This one doesn't do anything, obviously, but this one is movable. And even though the hand cover is missing on the hand, you can kind of get a resting on the arm if you're having problems like me. You just have it kind of like attached there. Of course, that's kind of upside down because you should have the hole at the top so that you can see what he's doing. But I do love this thing. Like, this shield is just so so crazy big but the fact that it has like weaponry built into it is pretty cool now the other mobile suit is essentially the same thing and it's the gym intercept custom and it's it's like missing a big component uh once again if you have played battle operation 2 this thing is in the game but it has a backpack um i don't remember what the name of it is but it's a flight unit that kind of like clips around the shoulder and or it's like goes goes over the shoulder a little bit but it mostly sticks out the back and it's got quite a bit of firepower I think it has some shields attached to the sides too it looks cool but this is all you get unless you spend the bucks to get the P Bandai which came out after the uh, official release and I'm not gonna do that I'm hoping maybe we'll get a knockoff and I can get that and then I can give the backpack to this guy and then maybe I'll repaint the other one or do whatever who knows but I still like it because it's essentially the guard custom. Like a majority of it is the same. Arms are the same. Torso is the same. Um, some of the skirtage is the same. Uh, thighs are the same. Feet. Lower legs are different. Skirts are different here. Um, the backs of skirts different too. Backpacks are the same. Heads are obviously different. So a majority of it is identical. But I also like the visor because it's another piece that can move down. And actually, that's cool. It's it's very unique compared to like a standard kind of Mono I1 like that. Where this one's like a slit, kind of like Geordi LaForge from Star Trek. And it even has a hole for the uh, extra sensor on the top of the forehead. So that's kind of neat. I like that. 
I, it doesn't go up as far as I'd like. I wish it kind of went up a little higher, but that's fine. I don't have any of the newest uh, gems from like, um, I think it's the, uh, what is that, that island movie? But this thing, these kits, because they're both mostly the same, they both have the same kind of posability, and they're really good. Like, I don't think you can really ask for too much more in terms of the, uh, the posability for a gym. I'm sure there's something extra you can get, maybe. Maybe a little bit better in the crotch. But, I mean, you got... You got it exactly where it counts. And as I said, they're both the same. And the only weapon this guy comes with, which is also disappointing, is the beam spray gun. The only thing it has... It, well, it has a beam saber on the back. It, which is unique, because there's not a lot that have them on the back. So it is kind of cool. Just the one, but it, it's... A, unique kind of setup but I just wish I had a shield <laughs> it kind of would be nice to have a shield for defense just saying I mean doesn't look so custom when it only has a gun and a beam uh, saber but I still like how it looks and I love the color uh, this lavender and I'm not even sure what kind of yellow you'd call that but I do like it I like, like I said, I like both. They're both cool. But the, the guard custom definitely feels like the more complete gem. And this one's just like a taste of what was to come. 